Hey guys, on Leonard Peltier's Commemoration Day for the Native Americans, which is a great day for Native Americans, we got an executive order by that CEO of the corporation, the District of Criminals, establishing the White House Council on Native American Affairs. Now I read through this and I know what's going on on reservations. We know that the Affordable Care Act at first, Native, wel Native Americans welcomed this, and then you've had to find out, you found out later that you had to find out, like, trace your genealogy way back, or you may not even be considered a Native American. I'm half Cherokee, but I'm not considered Native American enough to get anything special, nor do I live on a reservation. However, I was raised by full-blooded American Native Americans, but I, they, that's neither here nor there. This executive order is for corporate engines, and I have to tell you what a corporate engine is. These are the engines on the reservation that will bring corporations in, and they'll just take over the Indian reservation. Because right now, on like some Turtle Island clans in, in Canada and um, in and here in the U.S., they're doing total immersion schools or just immersion schools. The total immersion schools are awesome. What has happened is education standards were very low. Native Americans ranked the lowest on education. Um, <clears throat> they're also the poorest people that go to school. What has happened is um, since total immersion schools have been brought in, they're not only learning their language, their culture, and their true history, but their academic levels are proving higher than public education and some private education. So we have total immersion schools now going on on a few reservations. And also, they're starting to farm and do things like organic farming. And um, they're standing up against the corporations who are just basically walking on um, to the Indian reservations and dumping whatever they want in the water, um, you know, using them for waste dumps for the corporate, you know, the drilling fluid, the hydraulic, you know, fracking fluid, uh, uranium, all kinds of stuff. So now they're going to do the sustainable energy, and he also has a power... Um, to give you executive orders, and I, I had no idea sovereign communities could bow down to uh, uh, a president. Usually, you go to the United Nations, if I'm not mistaken, and if you if you're going to follow the president, you can't go to the United Nations for your human rights violations anymore. And he does this on Leonard Peltier Day. Now, the United States government has never honored one treaty, and now we've got an executive order saying he's going to try to honor treaties and stuff. Well, he has no say-so over any sovereign nation. And I have a feeling it has to do with the, na the natives have did the idol no more and started standing up against the corporations. Some of the Native Americans are making their own currencies. And also, the total immersion schools have higher academic standards than some private schools and most and all public schools. So what is happening is the Native Americans are becoming organic farmers. They, now, I'm not talking about them casino Indians, okay? I'm talking about them poor Indians that live on the reservation. Um, I'm not talking about the corporate shill Indians, and there's a lot of them. I'm talking about the ones who have just decided we're not going to drink no more alcohol. Taboo. Um, we're going to start respecting our heritage. We're going to get back into our language. And... We're not going to let the corporations come and dump on us anymore. And they're standing in their power. And with the total immersion schools, which have proved very successful, and, and them standing up against the corporations, now you got an executive order. It sounds all pretty and stuff, but I knew this was going to happen. I just had this feeling. And if you Native Americans thought, you know, about that, Affordable Care Act. I already did a video on that, and I'll link that below because you have to now go back a pretty long way in your genealogy to even find out if you can get um, 
your uh, affordable care from, you know, the Obamas. You know, when you were first put on that reservation or prisoner of war camp, um, you you were told you would get the basic medical needs, and that's pretty much all you've got. And the food they shipped in, which is not very good, you know that. And um, what little monies you get, um, a lot of people don't know about the, re the, the casino system anyway, so I'm not going to get into that now. Everybody thinks that the Indians reap all the rewards, and that's just not true. Um, some Indians might get a lot of money, corporate Indians, but the regular folks don't get a lot of money. So um, they live off of subsidy, subsidies, and um, they get a few food stamps. And um, they are can still considered prisoners of war if they're on a reservation. And uh, their medical care pretty much sucks. It's experimental medication. Um, to me, it's experimental medicine. My mother was in the cobalt treatments. So I, I know all about this. You know, some, some Native American can want, may want to argue with me. But I know that they're going, I know that most, a lot of reservations, and I'm not going to say in what area, um, because I, I'm actually, my, my uh, nation actually comes from the, Turtle Island clan, so I'm I'm proud of that, and and we are, and my nation's doing a, a, an immersion school, and uh, I know that the Lakotas are doing a total immersion school, and what's happening is Indians are getting smart, getting back to their roots, and um, some in and in, in right outside of Quebec are right now standing up against a Mer an American corporation that just went on Indian lands with their own private um, security team. And try, they're trying to do seismic testing so they can frack. They, you know, the corporations just walk on Indians' land and think they can do everything. Well, now Indians are taking their power back. And the funny thing is, other people are standing with them, and that's what they've been asking for. Because it's not, you know, if you look at an Indian, that's what's going to come happen full circle to you guys next. I mean, you know, this this is, you look at an Indian, don't look at the casinos, that's just a storefront for the corporations. But you go into an Indian reservation, and they're nice, you can go on an Indian reservation, they'll talk to you. But you can find out a lot, you know, and you'll find out how bad it is. Um, so I'm going to put this executive order up, and I'd like to really thank my friend Greg for sending this to me. You're totally awesome. And, um... I'm going to also link the video I did on what Obamacare is going to try to do to the Native Americans. And I'm also going to put up the total immersion schools and what's happening with that. Because the academics, the Native Americans are learning their own language again. They're learning their culture. They're learning true history. And their academics are hiring public and private educators now. So what has happened is the Indians aren't dumbed down and drunk anymore. And I think that scares that administration because they're even standing up to the corporation. And I'm going to send peace, love, and truth to all of you guys. But any reservation better get a heads up on this man. He can't put executive orders on sovereign territories, even though they are still listed as prisoner of war camps. You declare yourself sovereign since they have not honored one treaty. Peace.